So it's been a while. Hi, my name is Jael and I run this channel called A Life of Learning where I share tips for learning and living life from my perspective as an educational science student. And uh, yeah, I have not posted in a while uh, because I moved to Norway. So I'm currently in Oslo to do a research internship and I've now been here for almost a week and it's actually going surprisingly well. And I say surprisingly because I am a very anxious person. I was diagnosed with generalized anxiety disorder when I was, I think, 15 years old. But yes, I am quite a scary cat. Um, I'm quite scared of anything that I'm not really used to. So moving abroad, even though I also have friends who just move abroad and it's not a big deal, is kind of a big deal to me. But I've actually been surviving really well and I've sort of been reflecting on why I think that is the case, like what are the things that helped me to be a bit less stressed or anxious about this pretty big change. And yeah, I thought it would be nice to turn it in a video with some tips that I think could help fellow anxious people when they are moving abroad. So my first tip is to make sure that you say a proper goodbye to all your family and friends back home because um, at least for me one of my anxieties is just like going away and then something happens to a person that I love. Yeah, I don't know. I just have like a very big list of like mostly irrational fears but it's not completely not true that it will never happen. But yeah, a thing that really helped me to sort of deal with this anxiety that I have uh, was to make sure that I really was mindful and like conscious about saying goodbye to the people that I really wanted to have said goodbye to. So I just had dinner with my family and I had family come over and I threw a goodbye party for all of my friends and that just gave me a nice way to say goodbye to all the people that I love um, and yeah I don't know just make sure that I have uh, a good last moment with them before I left and for some reason that just sort of helped with this anxiety just in case that something happens I know that I had like a good final moment with them. And then a second anxiety that I had was losing my friends or you know just falling out of touch with friends and then coming back and them just not really being my friends anymore by the time I come back. But the way that I found that sort of eased this anxiety was to make a list of the people I wanted to stay in touch with and I just have that list lying around so that I can look at it and I don't forget to reach out to these people if they, for whatever reason, do not reach out to me. I know that I know that I need to reach out to them to make sure we don't fall out of touch. And then I guess this is something that is a very common anxiety or sort of stress, so I guess this is sort of a universal thing, but I was very scared of forgetting to pack stuff, especially because here in Norway everything is so expensive. I didn't want to have to buy a lot when I got here. But what I felt really helped me was to just like open my suitcase like a few days before I had to leave. And then whenever I used something that I wanted to take, I would either just throw it directly into the suitcase or write it down on a list where I just compiled all the things that I remembered I need to take but that I wasn't able to put in the suitcase right away because I would still need it. And in this way I was just like 100% sure that I would take all the essentials with me because yeah like the true essentials are the things that you use on a daily or almost daily basis. So those are the things that you would just encounter in your daily life and be like oh I need to take this. And yeah, that just really helped to ease my anxiety about potentially forgetting to pack something important. So I of course want to acknowledge that this is something that is not accessible to everyone, but in case that it is accessible to you, I would really recommend having someone you know come with you when you are moving abroad. So initially my boyfriend would have come with me to Norway but he found a job that he had to start 
um, in that period. So in the end, my parents ended up bringing me and we did a road trip from Amsterdam or around Amsterdam via Copenhagen and then to Oslo. And yeah, of course, this requires that there is someone in your life that does not have to work the days that you are traveling and that can afford to pay for their travel to come with you. But if you have someone like that, I really think that it is great if you can just take someone familiar with you while you are going through this process because it just eases the transition and it doesn't feel like you're just gonna be dropped in a strange place with people that you don't know. All of a sudden, out of nowhere, you have to deal with that, but they're sort of like a more easy, gradual transition from you being like in your normal, regular, everyday environment to you being in your new environments. And bonus points is that they can also help you to bring more luggage because you will need a lot of luggage if you are really going to like move your whole life abroad. But yes, I was very happy that my parents wanted to come with me and I would definitely recommend that for anyone, of course also because it's fun, um, but especially if you are anxious about moving abroad, I think it is a great way to ease the transition and make it all feel a bit less scary. And then another thing that I would recommend um, is to, out of all things that you could save money on, do not decide to save money on your living situation. Because I think the fact that I have a nice room here with really nice roommates that are helping me to get introduced to the city is a large part of I think why I feel so relaxed and at ease here. And of course, I know that there there is housing shortage and you know, you don't always get to choose exactly where you want to be living, but for me making sure to look for housing early enough and also, you know, being a bit flexible with the budget to make sure that I could live somewhere that really felt good instead of go for like the cheapest, cheapest option is something that I really would recommend to anyone because where you live is just such a huge part of your life. So yeah, of course, going abroad is not cheap to begin with. You probably do not want to go absolutely overboard with spending, but out of all the things that you could save money on, don't save money on your living situation because it's such a big part of how you feel and I think it really helps to ease the anxiety about being in a new place if you are at least in a new place that you feel comfortable with. So yeah, those were my tips that I found helped me to move abroad alone without crazy anxiety, even though I'm a very anxious person. Don't forget to like, subscribe and ring the bell if you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I wish you lots of love and a life of learning.